Hey guys, uh, back with another video and this time I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, a feature of hair grooms, uh, particle hair, uh, hair particle systems rather, in Blender called clumping. And clumping is a uh, feature of creating hair grooms that will allow us to create some interesting effects and on the screen you can see here that I'm showing you a picture uh, um, the blog post that I've written on my website Luna Yeti uh, dot com slash blog how to create insanely realistic hair grooms in blender for Unreal engine 5 and this particular um, blog post is humongous it's huge and it explains every single notch dial uh, slider number checkbox whatever it is every setting that you need to know about hair grooms is in, in blender is explained in this uh, blog post so over here, I have explained what clumping is, and I've given some examples and screenshots, but now I want to touch on this topic in Blender. So let's quickly hop over to Blender, and here you can see I have a um, hairstyle already created. This hairstyle is just a typical, uh, very simple bob cut hairstyle, uh, female bob cut hairstyle, and um, it's something that I, I created some time back when I was doing the research for this particular blog post and uh, what I'm gonna do is I want to introduce as you can see it, it looks interesting but I think we can make this a little bit better uh, and one way we can do that is by using clumping so the clumping has a couple of settings here okay um, let's take a look so over here you can access clumping by obviously selecting the hair groom so in this particular case the hair groom is on a um, scalp object which I've created here you can see here in the hall planner uh, bob cut scalp um, and if you go to the particle settings okay and if you just scroll down under children okay um, it's a setting under children here clumping okay um, so so here we are um, let's there's a couple of settings here I'm gonna start with the simplest one which is the clump setting now the first thing you're gonna notice is that this is a slider that's set at zero but the bar is halfway full. This means that it can go below zero or above zero. And basically clumping is, or clump, uh, the clump setting allows us to create an, an, an effect of clumping. So let me explain what that means. Let me slide this all the way up to one slowly. Okay, and you can immediately see there's an effect on the hair. Let me do that again. Okay right back up you can see that okay so what happened here is basically clumping is an effect where all the child has or the child strands around the parent hair are, um, are being converged at either the root or the tip in this case it's the tip okay because I moved it all the way to one the tips are converging all the child strands are converging at the uh, parents point and um, if I move it the other way the exact opposite will happen so let's move it back to one and you can see we just we remove the clumping and if we move it even further below one you can see the clumping now happens in the reverse direction all the roots are converging at the parents root okay not the tips nothing's happening to the tips now uh, this creates some interesting effects and people can achieve different results uh, personally for this particular hairstyle it makes much more sense to have clumping now if you take it all the way to one or all the way to minus one you're basically going to converge them exactly at one point which may not be particularly realistic maybe something like this might be more realistic so I, i'm going to take this to like 0.83 or something like that okay 803 okay here we go so this is a little bit more natural looking now now when we when we when we when we do this you can see all the hairs have formed these like clumps of strands okay and that's what clumping really is um, but we can we can change this even further okay so one now let's look at the uh, shape now the shape is a little difficult to uh, explain and if you read the blender documentation they'll give you a really stupid explanation in a, like a mathematical formula explanation um, this is one of the reasons why I wrote this blog post is because the documentation is so bad um, and and so not artist friendly I decided to make it easier to understand by writing a blog post now let's look at shape 
Okay, now shape. Okay, shape allows us to change um, the shape of this clump. Let's take a look right now at zero because we are clumping towards the left hand side, which basically means the tip has converged. If I were to move the shape, okay, you can see something really interesting happening. Do you see that? As I move it towards that side, you can see the the, uh, the shape of this clump is no longer like very uniform where this side is very thick and this side is converging into a smooth point. Let's move this back to zero and you can see that, okay? It's thick here, really thin here. And if I increase the shape, it's actually making the clumps thicker. That's pretty cool actually, I like this, okay? Um, and if I were to move it back, okay, you'll see something even even crazier happen. You can see the shape is now uh, pushing it um, towards the uh, the roots, and the roots look really weird now. Okay, this could also work for some kind of cyberpunk, you know, futuristic kind of stuff too. In fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look into that, um, but um that's basically what the shape does okay that's how it controls it so i think i'm gonna keep it something like this that's that's interesting i like this look okay um and and all this is well and good but now when you look at this it's very 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 uniform every strand is clumping in exactly the same way okay and that's not realistic. You don't want things to look like that. You don't want things to be so uniform. In real life, things don't look so uniform. There's a lot of randomness. And we can add randomness with noise. And there just so happens to be a clump noise setting, which you can just enable. Now, as soon as I enable this, it's going to go crazy because the clump noise is way too high, the size of the clump noise. So just check this out. Boom. What happened? Why is it doing this, right? Um, that's because this noise is too much. So let's bring this all the way back down to like 0 0.01, which is the lowest setting it can go. Okay, and then let's just slightly drag this up and you can see how the clumping is just randomizing slightly. Just take a look at just this strand right here, this clump right here, okay? You can see it's just splitting it into two, you know, splitting it into Two other ones are splitting into two. Some some of them might be splitting into like three. Some of them are converging a little bit. You know, different. It's just adding some noise to the whole thing. Okay, you probably can see it better if I cancel the shape. Okay, so if you see here, you see that it's just randomizing the shape, uh, the the number of clumps and things like that. So let's just put it at point um, zero five. Um, and that's that should give some randomness and that gives things a little bit more realistic look Okay, and uh, That's pretty much it for clumping now. There's one last um, Thing I like to show you and that is the clump curve Okay, and this can be used to control the clumping with a curve in case you wanted like a much more fine-tuned control over the clumping okay um, no, I believe if we uh, take this here, okay, so you can see here, as I drag this down, okay, this side controls the, 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 the thickness of the clumping at the root, whereas this side, you can see a little dot here, controls the thickness of the clumping at the um, tip. And if I were to click a point here and just drag this, I don't know, something like that, I can change the shape using this. You know, I can have some weird effects if I wanted to, okay? And this this will actually give you a lot of control over the actual shape of the clumps. Maybe you want some really weird um, effects like this. You, you could. Um, you could definitely you could definitely do that um, let me let me also tell you that you can also change for example if I were to take this 
by selecting this and I could change this to auto handle uh, or I could change it to vector handle which would make it a little bit more pointy or I could change it to um, extend no uh, Yeah, you can change like the uh, the shape of this. Let's say you want everything to be vector handle. Okay, by changing it to a vector, you're actually making it more more um, jaggedy. You know, uh, where instead of being smooth. Okay, and that's that's also an option if that's something that you're looking at looking looking for. Okay, and there we go. We can create some pretty weird rough effects. Um, there are other ways to create roughness, which I'll talk about in another video, but this is one way. So the clumping curves can just give you that. And in case you did so much changes, you know, you just you just want to reset everything. Just click reset curve, and you're good to go. You can even um, uh, just drag this back up, and it's back to normal. Okay, or just disable it and use the clumping curve. So, so there are multiple ways to handle clumping. So that's it, guys. That's all you need to know about clumping. Once again. If you uh, go to my website, uh, lunayeti.com slash blog slash how to create insanely realistic hair grooms in Blender for Unreal Engine 5, which I'll uh, put the link in the description. You can read all about clumping as well as all the other settings like roughness um, and the various roughness settings, uh, all the kink settings and etc. You can read all about it there. Yeah. I've written that. And I've also written about how to extract, how to create this hairstyle and uh, several others uh, as well as how to create how to export this to Unreal Engine and then modify things in Unreal Engine as well all right guys I hope that helps you um, and I'll see you in the next one